Welcome back to Living Local. Well, as you can see, we are outside on this beautiful spring day for our next segment of Show and Tell. Our next guest has quite the green thumb and is our go-to for anything landscapes related. She also just happens to be our executive producer, Kelly Hogue. Kelly, thanks so much for inviting us into your backyard oh, you're today. So, you're welcome. It's so beautiful. So can you tell us, when did your love of growing things begin? Well, my parents, before landscaping was a thing, they were landscaping in their yard. We had roses, we had just about everything. Um, when I was six years old, I saved a bunch of tree seedlings I found in the ground and brought them home and planted a bunch of them. My dad only kept one, so I grew my first tree when I was six, and it's still in my parents' backyard, so that's kind of where it all began. And then as I got married, got a house, and then when I had my own space, then it kind of grew from there. I started doing things, and um, then it became epic proportions here. Just Yes, well, I can't wait to take a look at everything that you have. What are you most proud of in your backyard? Um, I have a row of arborvita trees that I've managed to keep alive. There are 31 of them. It's an odd number and that bugs me a little bit. There may need to be a 32nd, but um, it's a barrier. It's, I, I'm a big fan of natural barriers instead of fences. And as I get bigger, I see a little bit less into next door and it just makes it more private here. And they're just so lush and green and they make me happy and every every year a couple times I spray them out with a hose get bugs out and I just I love them they're my my plant children yes I love it do you go anywhere for any of your landscaping advice um, well, I do a lot of research just on my own. I mean, I have asked people in garden centers and things like that, but um, I'm a big fan of like reading the labels. I've made a lot of mistakes. I don't read them carefully. You know, we're like zone 4B here, I believe, and um, you have to get the right plants for the right zone. You want to make sure they're going to survive winter. So I, you know, I, that's the first thing I really learned was to get the right plants and also see how big they get. You gotta know your, know your area because you know, you can get some perennials that may take up like five feet of your garden but you only have like three feet, so. Yes, that's great advice. I can't wait to take a look around. Okay, let's do it. So Kelly, I love your collection of farm animals. So basically this is kind of like the farm in the city. Can you talk to us about your collection? Well. Our collection started with pigs. Our dog snorts like a pig, so um, then we just started collecting pig things instead of dog things, but no, we just think pigs are so cute, and then got a few ornaments for the yard, and then you know, they looked lonely, so it's like, we need, we need a couple cows, we need a goat, and I just inherited two chickens today from Jennifer from Doodads. She's helping me add to my collection, so I love them. They're great. They fit in with the whole gang here. And they've got a wonderful little backdrop. They have a wisteria to hang out under and just do their farm animal things. And Kelly, you and your husband really enjoy repurposing items in your design. How does that work? Well, whatever we see that strikes our fancy, it's like, oh, maybe this could go in our yard. Uh, take, for example, we have a tire here, and we have a few of these around our yards. Just collected some old tires and painted them. Um, we had a different gazebo than what we have now that got destroyed in a winter storm, so rather than just throw it all away, we actually used pieces of it to make trellises and arbors. and. Um, we have done some dumpster diving, found tables and, and this and that, just anything, you know, anything can be yard art and, you know, if I can make it yard art, I can find a place for it in my yard. I have a lot of it and I just think it, you know, it adds just a little, makes things a little more kitschy. Anyone can do plants, but having a little, uh, you know, just a little color and fun in the in the design it just and making it your own too so instead of going out and buying a planter's box you know you can make this whatever colors you want that fits your style oh, yes and oh I almost got bit by a bee or stung <laughs> um, <laughs> that's what happens when you plant things the bees come out um, and yeah and you know it's not that I haven't bought anything new but oftentimes I'll buy something new and it's not going to stay the same color yeah um, so there'll be some spray paint involved and you know it's just it's, it's fun it's just fun making things your own and 
Th this whole yard has just been, m this is my art. This is how I express myself. I can't really paint anything on a canvas or anything else, but this is how I get to be creative after a long day at work and dealing with all the, all the crazy people I work with, <laughs> like Angie back there. Um, no, this is just where I come and decompress and, uh, you know, get creative. Well, and I think that goes for a lot of people. You know, they take a lot of pride in their backyards because they want something to come home to that makes them feel relaxed, like their own little oasis like you have here. My husband and I spend nearly every weekend just out here um, having a few beverages, lemonades, <laughs> and um, just catching up on our week. And originally we created this oasis. We had three teenagers when we came together and it was our way to get away from them. So we let them have the house in the summer. So we wanted to create a beautiful space for us to spend time together with. And it's just grown from there and the kids are pretty much gone, but it's still our go-to place to catch up on our week. And Yes, that sounds amazing. So Kelly, tell us, what do you get out of working with plants? It's my therapy. Um, I actually suffer from anxiety and it can be tough some days. Some days I don't even want to get out of bed. It's really hard. Um, sometimes it's hard to get through a day. Um, being able to come home and put my fingers in the dirt or put something in the ground and see it grow, it's just it's peaceful and calming for me. So it's been a lifesaver, especially during the pandemic. Uh, gardening, I think, saved my life. Wow. That's powerful, and I bet you a lot of other people feel the same way too. Kelly, thanks so much for sharing your yard with us and everything that you have worked so hard for over the years. Oh, you're welcome. Um, fortunately, I didn't have wine for this, but <laughs> next time, <laughs> I'm know. over. We'll yes, I will be here. <laughs> so if you need to reach Kelly for anything living local, or if you have any questions with her for landscaping, get a hold of her at Kelly Hogue at whbf.com. That's K. H-O-A-G at whbf.com. We'll also have those details for you at rquadcities.com.